Well, that was the uh, Japanese attacking us, and we've taken damage. I'm not sure how badly yet. We are, of course, now diving, but again, a little bit too late. Yes, sir. Periscope deck. Why are we not moving? There it is. That's been damaged. Why can't you comply? That doesn't make sense. Is the engine damaged? Nope. Hmm. Oh, they're all asleep. Why are you all asleep? You're on watch right now. Well, I guess we're going to have to wait for the uh, next watch to come around before we can actually move. Although we are now below the waves. And we are still making our way towards Midway. In fact, we've barely left uh, the last uh, sinking location and we we're just coming under air attack, and I should probably get rid of this because I no longer need it. There we go. So, of course, I will get us back to Midway because then we just have a little bit of damage to repair. And I'll bring you back once we either encounter something else or we make it back to Midway. Oh, and there's a task force over there going towards the Marshals. That may be the Enterprise. Along with maybe the Hornet in New Yorktown? I think the Yorktown and the Hornet were still afloat at this time in the war. I don't think they've been sunk just yet. Yeah, January 3rd, yeah. They should still be afloat. Although, fairly soon it'll just be the Enterprise. Yeah, I'll bring, I'll bring you back once you find something else. Alright, welcome back. We got ourselves... What targets? I know what that is. That's in that our European uh, opposite. We'll get to her. I think the other one looks like a uh, one we just went past. Very European composite. Let's bring out the TDC. And this one. And you. Look. Be. That is you. Your coastal composite. That's that done. So, first setting. Lock him up. Range. That. And the, the GDC. And one bow is starboard. Forty five. Go. I'm gonna let some time pass, get another range. That'll give us their speed. Uh, got tube five open up already. Probably should be timing this, but uh, be plenty of time. Range is now that speed seven knots. I believe that knots angle and bow now more sixty sixty five for you. Put on a position keeper. We set up the torpedo, high speed, a contact head, and travel draft. Act map. Nope. That's. That's not quite right.
hang on bell may be wrong. That's the wrong way. <laughs> Actually, yeah, it is. I'm like 80 degrees. Yeah. Uh, it's more like it. So we can keep the speed for uh, our freighter. Came up. I don't the uh, position keep for a moment because we need to get a range. There we go, send that to TDC. Then we can turn on a position keeper. Her angle on the bow is probably more in the 60 range. Check the attack map. Nope, that is... It's also somewhere in a 70 range. Yep, that is that. Open tube 6, don't close it. And fire tube 6. There we go. This is Keeper can now be turned off. I forgot to actually change the settings for her, so she may be not sinking with this torpedo. We'll see. There's our scope. There's the targets. I wish she could have a higher view. Oh, that just passed just astern. Nope. Still got her. But only barely. That should have completely wrecked her prop. Yeah, her prop is gone. So she's dead in the water, we can probably even use a deck gun for her. This means, where's the air torpedo at? He's gonna start zigzagging, so it may miss. Or it may hit. Because of the, uh... Incorrect firing solution I gave. There it is here. Mm, it may still hit. Let's just see is zigzagging now. Although it may also pass the head. I think it's gonna pass just the head. But we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, it's... Maybe not. He's starting back into it. That's gonna hit in the bows. <laughs> take one stern off, take the bows off the other. If it hits. Nope. Never mind, that definitely hit. That definitely hit. Although, again, she, that was a contact influence. So that didn't actually put any holes in the hull, it just started to fire. Meanwhile, this old ship here has got a massive old hole in her stern. In fact, she's already down by the stern. You can tell by the fact that her red uh, anti corrosion stuff lining on the bottom is showing more. But she's still moving. We'll see if that's just momentum or what. Well, she hasn't changed course at all, so her rudder controls are probably shot. So, I will break things off here, and, uh, well, this freighter may get away, but we'll see. This one, however, probably won't be getting away, and if need be, we'll stick her with the deck gun. So, I'll bring you back if either of those comes true, or if, um, we make it back to, uh, Midway. So, I'll see you then. Right, well, a uh, small update. This fritter here has been running the circles around this one. Because she actually has a weapon. In case we, uh, I guess, led to surface. Which was odd that now she just stopped in the water. I don't know what's going on with her, but she's still afloat and she shows no sign of sinking, so I'm going to give her a torpedo. 
This one, however, has come to a dead stop. She's still sinking slowly, but um, if this one sinks, I'll surface and give her the deck gun. Now, this one we can take our time because she has stopped moving. From what I can tell. It's arranged to feel things actually set correctly this time. Speed zero. In one bow. Twenty degrees. Pretty much exactly right. I will call that a good solution. And though we have a little bit of speed, so the position keeper is actually doing his job. So be set right. Double check. Yep, high speed. Motor impact. Two torpedoes left. But we still do have the deck gun. So uh that is still damaged. And that looks like it's gonna be running hot, straight, and normal. And directly on target. Maybe a little bit to the stern. But it should hit. Which is all I'm caring about right now, is that it hits. Going about a nice little clip too. Yeah, she's come to a stop. She is still burning. But she's swiftly gone dead in the water. Very strange logic. From uh from her crew. Extremely strange logic, I may say. Considering they could have just booked it out of here and left the other ship to die. Because eventually, even if we don't sink her, she may very well sink. I mean, if we don't engage with the deck gun, because she has no propeller. And she's got a massive hole in her stern, so she'll eventually go down, but... This one has just decided to stop directly behind her. In fact, her propeller's not even moving. He's completely dead in the water. We're gonna see. Yep, there we go. That's gonna hit basically directly in right underneath the smokestack. A perfect shot. Hopefully, the exploder isn't dead or bounce off. That would be a shame. That'd be a real shame. No dud here. So even if she was trying to get underway, now she should not be able to, because that maybe her model's just not showing holes. That is also a possibility. Actually, we surface where we are right now. Oh, she could still bring the deck gun to bear. That's what I was thinking about. But well, what things progress? Still, and then, uh, as how the situation adapts, we may surface in order to engage with the deck gun. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I prefer not to surface while her deck gun's still in play. Then now she has two fires burning. Yeah, she's sinking. She's going lower in the water almost immediately. Well, hopefully, she sinks. In fact, she's going decks of wash. On the stern there. But I'll break things off here, and uh, if she sinks, I'll bring you back in order for the deck gun engagement. I'll see you then. Right? It's open sunk. I've made the decision. Surface the boat. Let's begin the engagement. Alright, well, lads. And hopefully her deck gun won't be able to engage. Nope, it is engaging. Although it fell well short. Deck gun, aim for... 
war line. Deck gun repaired as we're already engaging with the deck gun. Yep. Good job, guys. Good job. Alright. Crank up the speed. That fell past. He's still burning. Hopefully we'll knock out that weapon. That was a close hit near the weapon. He's shooting long. Well long. He has nowhere... She doesn't have the range anywhere close. Meanwhile, we do. So I suspect this will go quite well, although we're still shooting a little bit long. I don't know where that one went. Didn't see it. It's all with the deck gun in the rear. Compared to the U-boats, it's very odd. And yeah, that went well long again. <laughs> like a kilometer or two long. If not more. With the radar with the well with the way well, her gunnery is going, I'm actually not too worried about uh her gunnery. Does that feel like four or five kilometers long? And they've all been consistently long. Meanwhile, we basically have the range. In fact, we may be even traverse to the point where she can't even return fire. I think we have. Oh, so she's now listing. She might be about to go down. Yes, sir. Ahead one third. Here we go. Oh, great. It's in meters instead of... Uh, The feet and all that. I was gonna take over, but no. That gun crew, you guys keep doing it. You guys clearly have the range. Though I've messed them up now. Yes, sir. I'll stop. There they go. They'll get it eventually. In fact, she may be going down. Is another hit. Another hit, good job. So she's done for the moment and she's not returning fire. Yes, sir. Target this one. Why'd you guys get off the deck gun? Was there like a watch change mid engagement? <laughs> that really shouldn't happen, guys. I think you're shooting long. Yes, sir. Hard to port. Yes, sir. Hard to port. The head standard. Let's get moving. I'll close the range for you. That way you're not, uh, Getting so far away. There's a fire. Good shot. Yes, sir. Holding fire. Okay, hold fire for a moment while we're doing this turn and getting closer. Because you'll be nowhere near accurate during this turn. Well, they are both burning now. And she's listing far to uh, starboard. Hopefully she's on her way down, or very close to it. Because if not, we'll be putting ourselves uh, fairly close to her gun, which uh, could possibly not end very well. Alright, uh, this core should do. There we go. In fact, it looks like I may be even able to engage at this angle. Yes, sir. Firing at 
Yep, they can still engage. A little bit forward. Looks like a little bit long. They'll get the range eventually. There we go. Get on the command deck. Looks like their fire has been set. She's continuing her list to starboard. In fact, she may not even be able to bring her gun to bear when we come around to her port side. A little bit long. Come on, guys. You had the range for a moment. There we go. That's a wireline shot. That's what we're looking for. Man bridge. Not quite what we're looking for, but close. They got the AA gun manned. So when we did go to battle stations, that makes perfect sense. Yes, sir. Firing at will. The AA gun to fire at will because it finds anything at all. Oh yeah, there was a secondary there that I missed. Yes, sir. All right. Target destroyed. There we go. Now engaging that one. Yep, that's fine. Let's go over and take a look. In fact, she's already gone. She's already sunk on an even keel. Yep, she's sunk on basically a perfectly even keel. Well then. That's me you don't see every day. Yeah, her deck gun can't be brought to bear. Actually, no, it can. Though it's still shooting long. Although we may be about to help her deck on crew, considering we're at this angle straightening out her, uh, her list. Actually, it can be brought to bear. It's just they don't have the range anywhere close. Oh, got a fire stern. I doubt that that gun's gonna be firing now. And she's down. Hold fire. Yes, sir. Secure the deck gun. Holding fire. And we'll also relieve the crew from battle stations. There we go. As she goes, I will break things off here. And I'll bring you back. And we either get to back to Midway. Or we find something else. Although, if we find something else, we're running really low on torpedoes. Actually, there's no way to check ammunition amounts for the deck gun without being on the deck gun. So I will break things off here, and I'll bring you back then.